everyone my name is Jen and welcome to the book refuge and welcome to another recommendations video so this one's gonna be a little different I'm sure you can tell by the title um, this one is about like bonkers plot or weird books with weird plot twists which is kind of hard to do because you know some of you the fact of even knowing that a book has a plot twist people are like oh that's telling me too much but this is one of those that's that's just how it is so if you you don't want to know that that's totally fine if you don't want me to be talking about it all that's fine you can look at what the list is down below i'll have you know the books that i'm going to talk about are going to be listed in the books mentioned section so if you you know don't want to hear me describing the setup or the plot of any of these I completely understand if this video won't work for you but I thought the prompt was really interesting um, and I know there definitely have been some books in my life that I thought they were such an interesting plot or premise or they started one way and completely went a different way by the end of the story so we're gonna talk about those today I'm still just going to do mostly like a you know a basic setup of the book and then if I'm gonna tell any specific point I'll maybe put like a spoiler tag but I'm not gonna like spoil the book but just telling you the plot or the setup like maybe that will I don't know but you've been warned that that's gonna happen so for any of the books that I listed down below you're just gonna know that that's a thing okay so the first one that I want to start off with this is one of my favorite books of the year and it is one of the ones that it's very hard for me well it's not hard to suggest because I've suggested it to a ton of people but it's hard when people ask me why I love it to tell them because I can't tell them the reason that I love it so I just have to set up the story and then remind them like hey this is a dark romance it might be different than you're expecting and hope that that is like enough for them to understand what I mean so any of you of my friends who've read this book because I suggested it you'll definitely know why I'm saying this <laughs> um, and that is Sea of Ruin by Pam Godwin so the setup of this book is that we have a female pirate her name is Bennett Sharp and she's married to a pirate named Priest and they've been married for a couple of years however for most of the time that they've been married they've been estranged because something happened two years ago um, we're told that he cheated on her somehow um, and he won't tell her who the person is because he doesn't you know this is someone who is aristocratic and can't have it known that they were sleeping with a pirate and he the thing that really hurt Bennett wasn't so much that he cheated but the fact that she can tell that he really loved this person because in her mind if he would just tell her who the person is she can go kill them and then they can be together and it's fine she'll get her revenge they'll be together it'll be great but priest won't tell her who it is but he wants to be back with his wife like he's tired of not being able to be with her so the beginning of this book is he's finally catching up with her but she purposely has let him caught up with her because there's something of hers that he has that she wants back so we have that going on then <coughs> We also have a pirate hunter named Ashley Cutler who is trying to nab pirates. And so he's coming after Bennett and Priest because they're both notorious pirates in their own right. And so we have a situation with him. So this book has kind of sort of a love triangle going on. Now if you've read the book you're down below being like yep know what she's talking about and the rest of you are like I'm still scared of reading Sea of Ruin <laughs> you need to read Sea of Ruin if you like dark romance you need to read it it's amazing um the next one I want to talk about is Twisted Pride by Cora Riley so this is book like eight in the overall story of this like first there is the bound by blood series and then there is the Kimura Chronicles this is book three in the Kimura Chronicles and there's a specific event that happens to Serafina um, she gets kidnapped by Ramo that is not the plot twist um, but 
this book is all the twisted things. It's delicious. We have a super alpha a-hole hero. He is kidnapped. This is a captive romance. This is all these things. And then there's a point in the book where um, Serafina is able to see her family again. And things go not the way I expected at all. However, however, I did know that they were going to happen because one of my few faults with Cora Riley, because I really love all the books that she, all the books of hers that I've read, I've really liked. But one of the things that did bother me is that the event that happens in this one, I already knew about because she'd written it in two other points of view by the time I got to this one. And that is a fault I find with her writing that if there's something really epic that happens, she writes it from like four different points of view. So I was still really excited to see it happen in this one. Um, and this is the one that I say the plot twist belongs in because you're in the POV of the people it's happening to and not from like her uncle's point of view or her, you know, other, for other people's point of view who are around her. This is from Serafina and Ramos point of view. And the plot twist in this, like, really touched me and, like, broke my heart a little bit because I was like, what would I do? Reading a book about a mafia princess and a mafia leader from two warring factions and the situation they're put in, I'm like, what would I do? And I don't know what my answer would be. So... Yeah, this also just has a bonkers plot too, and I love, love it. I would just say Credence by Penelope Douglas. Um, I think this is pretty well known that this is a pretty bonkers plot. Um, this has three different love interests, but yet it's not a reverse harem. I wouldn't call it that because to me, a reverse harem like isn't just because a person has more than one love interest, but that's my personal like, that's my personal feel. That's not the actual definition. Because in this, we only ever have at most a, like, menage a trois happening. Um, because there is one scene of two men and, a, and the woman. Um, there's never, <laughs> which would be gross if it ever was. Because it's a man and his two sons taking a step-niece. So there's no blood relation between anyone. That's not happening. But there's first an age gap situation happening between um, Credence and her uncle. But then it becomes clear that she maybe has stronger feelings for one of her step cousins instead. And there is a kind of out of the blue of who she ends up with. I think it's pretty controversial who that person is. There are dubious consent scenes in this book. There is age gap scenes in this book. There's a lot and I really liked it a lot. <laughs> As you can see, I had a lot of notes in it. But I would call this pretty bonkers plot. But that's Penelope Douglas for you. This is actually one of her more tame books, for that being said. So, take that under advice. Then, um, I want to bring up, this one's going to seem out of the blue. But I thought it really fit in good with, like, bonkers plot situation. And that is The Kiss of Deception by Mary A. Pearson. This is one of my favorite YA fantasy trilogies. Um, this is about a princess who runs away on her wedding day. And an assassin and the prince that she snubbed both come after her. And the way that the author tells the story, you don't know who's who until the author wants you to know. In my opinion, I didn't know who it was. Upon reread, yes, it's obvious to tell who's who. But the first time through these books, I had no idea who was who. And I thought it was really really well done um and where this book starts is not where it ends so it, it to me it is kind of a bonkers plot and it was a really clever way to tell the story and it had a really interesting like twist to me so i really really like this one and the audiobooks are really good if you have the opportunity to listen to them then there is the player by cressley cole this book is amazing. So this is actually about a girl who's a grifter and this guy, Dimitri, falls for her and he wants to be with her so bad. And her family, they want her to 
do a kind of like heartbreaker situation. I don't know if you remember that <laughs> movie from, it came out when I was young um, with Sigourney Weaver and Jennifer Love Hewitt. And she is supposed to marry him, get him to love her, get all the money from him and then like leave him. Only the thing is he won't stop giving her things. Like he wants her so badly that he's just throwing money at her. And he's like, I don't think you get it. You're not spending enough of my money. Like, what can I do so that you understand you can have more, you can have everything. So this book is bonkers, but it's the bonkers of like, if Cinderella was a thing, it's like all the positives. There's also a little bit kink kink happening, um, but this isn't that dark for that happening. And I won't tell you what the plot twist is in it, but I did not see it coming. And it just makes this book so much fun. Like it makes this book so much fun. Um, this is the third in the Game Maker trilogy. They each are bonkers. Two and three are more bonkers than the first one is. The first one is um, a pretty classic like mafia kind of situation. But yeah, this book is so bonkers. Then a historical that I want to mention is The Duke with the Dragon Tattoo by Kerrigan Byrne. Now, this is harder than most to talk about because this is the sixth book in a series. And for the plot twist in this one to like be a thing, you kind of need to, you at least need to have read the first one. So technically, I think you could get away with reading The Highwayman. And then reading The Duke with the Dragon Tattoo, I recommend you read them all in order because The Victorian Rebels is one of my favorite historical romance series ever. But technically, for the plot twist of this to work, you at least need to have read The High Women to realize the setup of this. The Victorian Rebels is about a group of men. They're not all directly connected, but quite a few of them are directly connected through like the underground of like London seediness and things as one does connect through that. And the Duke of the Dragon Tattoo is this guy called the Rook who, you know, is criminal. He's a pirate. And there's this woman that he's obsessed with. And the beginning of this book is him like kidnapping her from her wedding. Um, I think that's how it is. Yeah, he's like stopping her wedding from happening and he may know her from their past so like that's all that i can say but do i talk about kerrigan burn enough do you get it yet do you get that i like kerrigan burn because i like kerrigan burn and you should read her um then i want to talk about the edge of darkness by cd reese this is a book it's like a trilogy with a novella at the front and you kind of need to read the novella at the beginning because it sets up this couple but this is about a soldier and a military doctor. Are they both? One of them's a military doctor and one of them's a military psychiatrist, maybe. But anyway, they meet in the military. And so this is about a married couple. And there's something crazy going on in their marriage. Um, this is one that I really don't want to spoil it because it's fascinating. However, if you really want to know... Um, this is where I'm going to put, I'll put a spoiler because this bit of information is what got me to read it. So when my hand is down, you can know. But, uh, before I do that, before I tell you that, <laughs> I'll say that this book is very emotional. It's very dark. There is some crazy emotional things happening in this, but it's very sexy. It made me very anxious for the couple the whole time. And this is a second chance romance that I didn't know which way it was going to go because I'd never read a CD Reese before and I didn't know what I was getting into. So spoiler, skip till this is gone. This has to do with multiple personality disorder, but the, not in like a, like it's something that's brought on by the military and a certain serum that they're giving to certain soldiers and our soldier is having adverse effects to it and has actually caused his personality to split. 
and one of his personalities thinks that the other personality is too mean to his wife. And so he's trying to keep the other personality away from his wife. And so they don't know if they can get these to merge back together because they should both be together or not. That might have sound like it gave away a lot of stuff. I did not because there are stuff that has to do with the female in the relationship as well and her mental state that I won't get into. But finding out that information is what convinced me to read the book. So that's what I want to share with you. Okay, are you back now? All right. Those of you who just heard that. Wow, right? So uh, another book that I want to recommend that just goes bonkers is Accidental Witness by Sam Mariano. So this is a series, the first book in the Morelli family series, which I love. I binge this entire series in August. There is eight books. Um, the first four books, you can kind like you can't read these books out of order either that's the thing like the author she stops putting synopsis on the book after book four because the first four books are about different couples but then books five six and seven are just like cumulatively about everybody and they need to be read in order or you will just be like what the hell is happening so just know that but this first one is about this girl mia who she accidentally witnesses a guy, um, Vince, a guy named Vince, leaving a burning building next door to her family's apartment. And it's someone she knows from school. And he gets an eye of her. And he comes and finds her the next day. And he's like, you can't tell anyone about this. And then he becomes kind of obsessed with her. And they end up in a relationship together. And she knows that this is really dangerous for her to be in it, especially when the head of the family, who is Vince's older cousin, um, Mateo, finds out about her. And things get bonkers from there. Yeah. Uh, I freaking love this series, but it all starts with Accidental Witness. Um, Sam Mariano is the same person who read Untouchable, which is another book with a bonkers plot, but I, you know, was trying to do one rec video where I don't talk about Carter Mahoney, but Carter Mahoney was preceded by Matteo Morelli, and you should, you should check him out because he's a crazy man. He's a crazy man. Um, then I want to mention Captive by R.J. Lewis. Um, this was recommended to me by a viewer, and I ate this book up. I just ate it. This is a captor-captive romance, and it's told in a very interesting way. It's told in a current time, a before, and then an after. Um, this girl is being held captive, and I'm using this for a reason, but it's like a spoiler, but I'm saying she's being held captive um, by this man on his private island, but not like private island is in there, the only people there. It is a like resort island, um, not quite a resort, but it's like the head of their operations and he pretty much owns the whole island. And so there's people there and stuff and like they go to fancy dinners and things, but he owns her and they have, um, consensual non-consensual sex so just so you know that there is actually but the thing is and why this is like a bonkers plot is that in the beginning of the book it's only in her point of view and you don't know that this is consensual non-consensual sex <laughs> so it seems like rape in the beginning of this book. It seems like a twist me situation if you've ever read that. And the more you find out about the book, you find out that there's more going on here than just a woman being held captive by somebody. And it's a very long book. It was a very emotional book and it was good. Like this was, I was not expecting where this book went. Um, especially once you read the before part of it, because you read the current state of it and it seems like, wow, this person, she's been being held captive for a long time. She's having maybe, um, Stockholm syndrome feelings. She likes it because she has to like it. You know, you're thinking all these things about her and then you read the before and your mind just 
blows open. So definitely read Captive. It's pretty dark at the outset, like I said, but by the end of it, I actually didn't find this book as dark as I was expecting it to be. I, I liked it a lot. Um, just a couple more to mention. So Whispers in the Dark by Letitia Newton. This one is on here straight up for being bonkers. This starts as a captor captive that is absolutely a captor captive, only it's not our hero who's doing the captiving. It's his dad who kidnaps women and holds them for an extended period of time raping them. And so this girl, she's kidnapped when she's young. And um, we actually read this for Taboo Book Club when we did, um, was it Captor Captive? It was Captor Captive was the theme. And this girl is tortured and raped and just horrible things happen to her. And the man who kidnapped her, he has a son and the son is being taught his ways. And the son believes a lot of the ways, but he also doesn't. And so when this girl comes into their lives, he wants this girl for himself. And so he wants to protect her from his dad. He's also being abused by his dad. This is a very dark, very, very, very dark book. This was hard for me to read because there are a lot of trigger warnings in this book. There is miscarriage. There is vivisection. There is torture and rape. Like there is a lot of trigger warnings for this book. But it's totally bonkers and if you like darker stuff I think you're gonna eat this book up because the plot twist and for this one I will also put up a warning so I will I'm about to tell you why this one is on this list but just straight up it has a bonkers plot it's very dark very deep all the things if the beginning feels like a criminal minds episode because we're wanting this girl to be rescued and to make it through and then spoilers about to happen our heroine eventually escapes and herself becomes a serial killer to make men pay who have done bad things. So she becomes a psychologist and a serial killer. And many years later, the um, love interest of this book, he discovers that she's a serial killer and is like, I want you back now. <laughs> So there you go. That is a bonkers book. It's crazy. And then the last one I want to talk about, I actually read this like the first week of the year this year and it just blew my mind because I had never read a book like it before. And that is Black Lies by Alessandra Torre. I was reading a lot of her books at the beginning of the year because um, I had read a few other interesting ones by her. And this one is about a couple. He is a tech genius. She is an heiress and they end up spending time together. And she keeps getting warned away from him by the guy's aunt, who is like his business partner. And they end up dating and eventually engaged to each other. And then she starts getting hints that he's cheating on her. And she decides to do a little bit of digging into it and try to discover if he's cheating on her or not. And I won't tell you if he's cheating or not, but I will say that there is someone else in his life. And now I'm going to hold my hand up again for those of you who want to know because again this is another book just like the edge of darkness that if i hadn't heard this bit of it i probably want to pick the book up so the spoiler in this one is that this is another multiple personality situation our hero had a traumatic event happen to him and his mind split but the real thing is that there are people who know about his split personality so his split personality actually has a girlfriend and is in a relationship and our heroine decides to insert herself into the life of his other personality so that she can have both sides of the man in love with her. So that's the plot of this book. So there you go. There are some books with bonkers plots and plot twists. I hope that I set this up in kind of a good way. The ones where the plot twist is a big deal I hope that I hid it from you. Um, if not, I, I'm sorry. I hope you, you know, well, I'm not sorry. You watched through the book. You knew that I might be spoiling these for you. But anyway, um, what are some of your favorite books with crazy plot twists? 
Um, if you want to tell me what the plot twist is, just make sure you leave some space so that it's hidden. Um, but I would love to know like what some of the crazy plot twists are. So if you're going to do it, just list the book and then like dot, 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 and then tell so people aren't forced to see it. Um, but yeah, what are some of your favorites? Thank you so much for watching this. Um, thank you as always to my channel members for your support. Um, if you'd like to check out channel memberships, make sure you check out the join button. I have some really great options and any support you give really helps out the channel. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.